Okay, just gonna make a quick video here because I ran into something a little bit special here at the auction. And this one here is an authentic crystal body Yokohama wide body AE86. And so this company's been around for a while and they started making these kits, I don't know, maybe 15 years ago or so. But you very, very rarely ever find them that are authentic. Copies are out there, but this one, the auction sheet says that these are the real, the real deal. And so this is something pretty special. We did have a bid on this, but it got pulled because they decided we don't have enough money to buy this car because eight sixes are already really expensive. This one, I don't know how much it's going to sell for. It's really up in the air, but wouldn't be surprised if it's somewhere near 1.5 million yen. And so aftermarket front bumper here. It's an N2 front bumper with these cool little plexiglass canards. Not real carbon fiber, but a lip on the front here. It was originally a sprinter, sprinter but has been uh, changed over to 11. Those fender flares are excellent. And the TE37s, funny, the TE37s are wheel, I don't think particularly suits this car, but when you put these fenders on them, I think that it's a good mix. And these ones are dished in big time. Carbon hood has a cool ducting here for the radiator. This guy's come to take a look at the car. Original, original seat in the passenger side. And this is lucky because we get to see him start up the car. Full fiberglass rear wing with latches because this one would have been taken out. Uh, this is fiberglass for the back hatch and the wing one piece and probably plexiglass. Yep. And glass. It's got the late model tail lights here, even though this isn't a late model. This one's the 1984. And so the red stripe along the top, as you can tell, this is only available on the Sprinter version. Aftermarket mirrors here, carbon fiber insert here. And typical of many 8.6s that are made for racing, this one um, it doesn't idle properly until it's warmed up. The license plate says Tsukuba on it. This guy is gonna run me over. <laughs> Here, Andrew is laughing at me, almost getting run over. He's testing the clutch, and it's not good to put your head in front of a car that likely has a, like a solid single clutch on it. I hope he opens the hood. Do it. I think it's got not like a swap. I can't remember. I think it's probably a blue top. It didn't say anything about change engine, but it did say it had uh, high lift camshafts on it. Yes, I'm just going to sneak here. I feel like I'm all casual. <laughs> so it says supercharger on it, even though there's no supercharger anymore. So they use the supercharger as a red top big, uh, big bore engine. Uh, typically not commonly used for the NA application. Change over to uh, carburetor. Now you can't hear anything, so I'm going to walk over here and I'm going to talk about. Oh my gosh, that's noisy! I'm going to talk about those carburetors. Those carburetors are called a, a CR, and instead of your typical carb that has a butterfly valve like this, these ones have doors that open like this, so that there's no restriction at all when you floor it. You have nothing in the way. So very cool carburetors. I think they're fairly expensive, but I don't know how much that they cost. It looks pretty awesome. I'm being a huge fan of the 86. I can really appreciate this car. So I'm really sad that it's not mine. 